I love using Inkscape because it's free and it's relatively easy, although it can be a bit intimidating here. There's huge menus along the bottom, the right hand side, the left hand side. So in this video, I'm going to show you a very easy technique and I'm going to open up a US flag to start. So I'm going to go file, open, and I'm going to import my image. Now it's pretty big here, so I'm just going to zoom out a tiny bit. I'm going to click on the image and I can move it around, okay? And you can always hit control Z or control Z to undo it if you want to move it back into your template. I don't really care about the template at this point. I'm just going to be using my flag. So I'll just leave it off center like that just to prove my point. Now the next thing I'm going to do is type in a text word. So I'm going to click on this A over on the left hand side and I'm just going to create a box and then I'm going to type in a word and I'm going to use the state here, Alabama. Now I'm using a font called Appleberry and then when I've click outside of that box, I now get this text that I can also move around. So I'm going to place it over top of the flag and then I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to click on the little arrow button which is on the bottom right and that's going to move my Alabama where I can make it larger. So I'm now going to touch the Alabama there and I'm going to move it so it's right on top of the flag. I want to have some blue and I want to have some white and some red on the word Alabama. So there, just like that. Now I'm going to highlight both. So there's two ways you can do this. You can click the flag, hold down the shift key, and then also click Alabama. So you can see now both are highlighted. Or you can just do control A and control A highlights both. Either way is fine. Now I'm going to go up to object, clip, set clip. And from there, it's going to clip the word Alabama right onto the flag. So I'm just going to move this right off of the template so we can see it a bit easier here. I'm going to zoom in and we can see it's nice mask feature. We've got the, the US flag sitting now inside of the word Alabama. I could simply export this now as a PNG. Over on the right hand side, I'm going to click the export this document as a PNG and make sure to have selection selected. That's because it's the word is selected. And then from here, I could make this larger or smaller if I wanted. And you'll see the size here is changing. I'm going to change this to 300 DPI. That's going to give me a nice big word design here, 7400 by 1300. And I'll simply click the export button down at the bottom and that will give me a great text design for a t-shirt, coffee mug, what have you. I really hope you found this helpful. I love using Inkscape. It's fast, it's easy, it's free. Here's another design tutorial that will help you supercharge your print-on-demand journey or your digital design journeys.